So across the road from me there is Sherry Fitzgerald O'Neill Property Advisors uh, Gallery or Art Space. I think it's an artist run space, also known as number 37, here in the town of Skibbereen uh, as part of the Skibbereen Arts Festival, very big event. Um, this is actually part of fringe sort of shows that are on exhibition as far as I can work out. I mean, there is one issue with the, it's a photography oriented exhibition that also deals with land, land art, architecture and the general notion of seascapes and landscapes. There is one issue with the exhibition which has been overlooked by the curator. Um, I don't know whether that's Sherry Fitzgerald or O'Neill but one of the three um, and I would be critical of this uh, as it happens and that is that the proximity to this roadway here means that the noise distracts one's attention it's impossible to contemplate the images properly and secondly it leaves little room and creates some barrier to really appreciating the show at times the traffic dies down a bit as you can see the, the exhibition is of interest to passers by though um, lots of people look at these photographs and know that they're interested in the different sort of um, compositional techniques that have been used. Most certainly there's a certain kind of rhythm and routine to the work. Uh, it's laid out in the classic sort of grid formation um, so as not to distract our attention and allow us to really uh, properly appreciate uh, putting to one side for a moment that big concern about the noise from passing vehicles. I mean that's one of the one of the questions with outdoor exhibition. It might have been better if they faced these images inwards and we were permitted to walk around inside but as you can see inside there's a kind of performance taking place um, this live art uh, live art uh, event as you can see is, is, is saying there's a durational event a woman basically um, I've forgotten the performer's name is sitting next to a screen with a mouse and keyboard on a swivel chair behind a desk and she does that for a whole uh, eight hours on average every day or at least five days a week. So some of these images are better than others one could argue depending on your subjective judgments. Um, we all love the seascape, the landscape, we love looking at bungalows um, So, um, and there's some typography which I guess is the, the title for the work. So this one's called Kilco and um, it's in Skibbereen County, Cork, whatever uh, that means. I guess that's the location of the picture itself. A very big contrast between these seascapes, these landscapes, and Donald Tusky's paintings in the nearby art gallery. These, you could argue, are more objective, more ordinary in the tradition of objective photography. Not trying to be expressive not um, abstracted either, you know, not pretending to be um, distant or um, above uh, reality, they're not surreal in any way. I guess the vividness of the colours does give a certain 3D modelling aspect and there are problems of some sort with that. At this point in time, I'm actually running out of things to say, but the days in which these photographs have taken give a very false impression on average of the kind of weather and the kind of landscape that we're dealing with. So in that sense, they are a distraction and different from reality. In that sense, these photographs are making. They are artifacts. They are artificial. We're making something up. This is not reality because the weather in West Cork is typically more variable than this array of images leads us to believe. So in that sense it's a very false kind of picture. So I'm contradicting what I said earlier and to some degree yes thinking out loud and trying to improvise a little bit here with these photographs. Anyway I think that's all I've got to say about this exhibition here, this fine art exhibition at Sherry Fitzgerald O'Neill Property Advisors, also known as number uh, 37 space.